Francis Howell North High School teacher and coach is facing charges for allegedly having sexual contact with a student in his classroom. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Investigators say the alleged contact started in December and it involves a ninth grade girl. Five on your side's Alex Fees is live tonight outside the school in St. Peter's with new information. Alex. Mike and Ann, Francis Howell School District officials say the teacher in this case, 25-year-old Gabriel Groach, was placed on administrative leave May 26th, and they say district officials are cooperating with investigators. Gabriel Grote is a math teacher and coaches three girls sports at Francis Howell North High School, volleyball, lacrosse, and basketball. He is now in police custody and charged with two felonies, second-degree statutory sodomy and sexual contact with a student. Court documents say the sexual activity happened in Grote's classroom during his free hour. The victim told a friend, and that's how investigators found out. Investigators say the interaction started as messages of a sexual nature on a phone and Snapchat and evolved into, quote, more of a girlfriend-boyfriend kind of thing, with Grote giving the student hugs and rubbing her back. Investigators say eventually it turned into sexual activity. I think it's an abomination. Our teachers are supposed to be our leaders and our good role models, and this absolutely betrays everything they stand for. Yeah. It's terrible. I firmly believe teachers have a responsibility to do what's best in the best interest of the students and, uh, and have a certain responsibility to, to set an example as to uh, what's their proper behaviors. I always hate to hear uh, anything bad happening. Um, I really feel for the, the child and hope that uh, Pray for them and hope that um, they can recover from this. It's sad. It, it, it's the worst thing you, you hear, and and yet it just seems to happen every once in a while. You, you hear about it, and you think, how, why can't this horrible thing go away? I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's sad for the young girl. Francis Howell School District officials released a statement which reads in part, these allegations are deeply disturbing and do not reflect the values of our community or the stringent standards of conduct to which we hold our staff. District officials say that Groat will not be returning next year. Officials in the St. Charles County Prosecutor's Office say the bond in this case has been set at $500,000 and they point out that is not a 10% bond. That means he would have to post the entire amount, $500,000, in order to get out on bail. Live tonight in St. Charles County, Alex Fees, 5 on your side.